This next poem is called I May Have Unrealistic Expectations. Um, and the, the general gist of it is that we tend to know what to do when people sneeze, but not when people cough. Um, and so there are some things that culturally we have built in sort of things that we all know what to do about. And there are other things that are just as common that we're a little bit iffier on. Um, so go metaphorical with it wherever you want to go. Wherever in your life you want to place that metaphor, put it there. Go ahead. It's much better to sneeze than to cough, I think, since with sneezing we all know exactly what to do. Bless you. Thank you. Gesundheit. Danke. We've got this down, with the only question being if it's a single sneeze or if there'll be more. But coughing, what a tricky thing that is. If we've a lozenge or some water, we offer it. But how often do we have exactly what the cougher needs? Ignoring it completely, are we cold and callous, borderline sociopaths? Stopping to say, are you okay? Perhaps we make a big deal of just a little tickle, nothing much. Or do we draw attention to what they'd rather forget? Emphysema, throat cancel, tonsillosis. I'd much rather sneeze, though I fear I cough quite a bit. Anytime I feel that tickle in my nose, I'm reminded of Bridget Fonda in Singles, who just wants a man who says bless you when she sneezes, finally finding it in Matt Dillon. As they start to make out in an elevator, we know these Gen Xers are going to be okay, which is all well and good. But I have a million friends and strangers who know what to do when I sneeze. I need someone who knows what to do when I cough. Two more? Is that? Okay. So this one is called Love in the Days of Grunge. My brother and his first ex-wife staked their hearts on Clapton and Wonderful Tonight. But it wasn't strong enough. My parents cling to Dylan's Lay Lady Lay, and I pretend not to know why. To think of my father as such a smooth operator is painful in so many ways. We have no song to call our own, but what would our options have been? Soundgarden's Black Hole Sun? It's Foaming Girl video? Nirvana's Heart Shaped Box? Admittedly contains the word heart, but also makes the promise that I'll eat your cancer. Could it have been King's Messel and Sex With You? So like Lay Lady Lay, but without pretense that there is romance hidden somewhere in the chords of a guitar and the mumblings of wanting? Our choices were pretty limited, really, as if watching Glasnost and Perestroika falter had stripped something away, shattered long-held fantasies that we, too, could have a Red Dawn Rocky Four Hope the Russians Love Their Children Too moment. And our generation lost its God-given ability to look each other in the eye and in all seriousness rhyme June with moon. And those of us grown old, or what at least feels unyoung, may wonder if it's better this way if dissolving these illusionary shells to see the real, real beneath is not the best way to go. At seven, my father's world had a clay-covered Buddha that cracked and a monk discovering it was gold underneath all along. 25 years later, Tylenol and Halloween candy came laced with the threat of cyanide or needles and the Black Leopard Karate Club in Alberta, Canada took an entire house apart using only their bare hands and feet. There was no gold between the floorboards, but that's not what they were looking for. But neither was the monk in 57. He just saw a glint through a crack and went for it with a chisel.